सो टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रीमिंग इन नेटफ्लिक्स हम लॉग के बारे में बात कर चुके हैं वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट होम पेज रिकमेंडेशन एंड सर्च नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विच इज हाउ वट हैपन्स वेन यू एक्चुअली क्लिक ऑन प्ले बटन फॉर एनी मूवी हाउ अ मूवी और अ शो इज स्ट्रीम ऑन एनी ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर टेकिंग द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नेटफ्लिक्स सो लेट्स जस्ट ए नेटफ्लिक्स सपोज दिस इज यू यू आर द क्लाइंट विच इज एक्चुअली मेकिंग अ कॉल टू द नेटफ्लिक्स लाइब्रेरीज एंड दीज आर द नाउ दिस सपोज दिस क्लाउड यू सी दिस इज अ वर्ल्ड एंड इन दिस वर्ल्ड देर आर लॉड ऑफ ई सी टू सर्वर्स विच आर बींग विच हैव बीन डिप्लॉयड विच आर विच आर एक्चुअली रनिंग द नेटफ्लिक्स कोड नाउ वेन यू लॉग इन टू नेटफ्लिक्स एंड यू सी द होम पेज यू आर एक्चुअली इनिशियली कनेक्टेड थ्रू अ लोड बैलेंसर टू वन ऑफ दीज ई सी टू सर्वर्स विच आर सर्विंग ऑल द ए पी आईज विच यू हैव Now internally, Netflix has a microservice-based architecture. There might be different services like user service. There might be uh, home page service. But at a particular point, you are just connected to was just one server. Uh, like when you, whenever you do an option, might be making a call to one of these microservices to actually fetch what you really want. Now the problem is like you want to stream this data. Now it is possible that you are sitting here in India. and uh, these ec2 servers these are located in us now since uh, we are establishing a tcp connection between do now why are we establishing a tcp connection what is a tcp connection so a tcp connection is basically tcp is a layer 4 protocol as we all know now whenever you have to send a request and response you actually send a request and you get a response but since you are all the time on the netflix page you have to stay connected to the servers otherwise you would have to make a call ag- again and again so a uh, persistent tcp connection is maintained between the client and this ec2 server you can even see this when you uh, if you are watching netflix just type netstat and you will be able to see the address of like ec2 this you are connected to the point is when you have to start streaming what happens so you hit play now what will happen if the data had to come from this ec2 server it will take a lot of time because uh, there might be a lot of hops it is possible that between this there are a lot of multiple other servers and this data transmission over the network will take a lot of time and we cannot have time when our specific job is streaming you want to stream a video it cannot take such a large amount of time so what do we do in these cases so for these cases what netflix did is that they have us their own network of open connect appliances similarly these are also deployed across the world and what these do these act as a the connection of these act as a cdn now what is a cdn the cdn full form is content delivery network so what does a cdn do a cdn will hold content so all the content which you has to which you have to see are cached in this cdn servers or open connect servers now when you want to watch something what you will have to do is you simply uh, hit on the play now you will be then routed to one of the open connect servers which is closest to you now this routing may take some time so initially it is possible that you are connected to some oc open connect server and after later time you are switched to some open connect server which is actually more closer to you so you might also observe that initially when you start a video it start out as blurry but uh, with some time it actually sharpens and you get a better video quality so that happens because it is initially trying to find out which open connect server is the is the closest to you now at this point what will happen to this ect connection that you have maintained will it remain open or it will get closed it actually depends on you on your implementation how you would like to do like suppose if we close this connection as soon as you are connected to a uh, cdn device now suppose you are watching a movie and you hit the back button now these devices don't have the apis hosted per se the apis are hosted on these actual netflix servers so when you hit the back page you actually have to want to go back to the home page so uh, you would have to have some kind of logic in these cdn servers to actually route you to the instance ec2 instance so this is one way so whenever you hit back it is possible that this open connect appliance doesn't have anything to display to you so because it is just acting as a caching server so what it will do it will find the 
closest server netflix server which is closest to you through the paths of the open connects and finally connects you to this ec2 servers this is called like you are kind of deploying your api with cdn in the between so you are uh, always kind of connecting to this cdn and then are being routed to a particular server for the api requests and those api requests are cached but generally in netflix case the data is already cached on this it is not that it brings the data when you make a call like if it is not able to find it does not happen that it brings the data from the server most of the data is already cached on it and all the servers are uh, generally have that information only when it doesn't have such information only then it has to call or it is also possible that it may route you some other uh, open connect device which already has that information or has that movie or the show which you are looking for the there are two types of cdn like which we talked about one is pull based so initially there is nothing so whenever you make a call it will first always go to this servers then it will get cached and when some other user makes a call it it is already cached so it will be able to provide the data so that is called pull pull based cdns other than that there are already push based cdn for example this will already have the data cached whenever you look it generally always 99% of time should have the data which you are looking for if it does not have then it will make a call to the ec2 server now we talk about various video qualities that you see so you know now streaming is happening through these open connect appliances when you click play the data is being streamed through this all the movies which you are seeing which are are being streamed through this cdn server when you head back you either connect through these cdns to this ec2 or this connection was already maintained and this connection will die out and you will still make all the api calls through this ec2 service for uh, whatever you want to now we want to know how are different qualities for example it is possible that their internet speed is slow so when your internet speed is slow uh, you see a bad quality picture instead of actually just stopping it so what actually happens in that that is called adaptive bitrate streaming so what happens in adaptive bitrate streaming is that whenever an, a new video is onboarded on netflix it is stored in multiple different resolutions 144p 360p so all these resolutions are stored and when the data and all these different files these are they are stored in this uh, cdn appliances so when you are making a call to this streaming a movie suppose in the middle your internet connections speed becomes lower so this the protocol which is used for streaming are generally two mpeg dash or H hls now uh, these are just some protocols built over http which are used for streaming now these protocols are built in such a way that uh, whenever you are streaming and your internet speed decreases it uses this adaptive bitrate streaming to actually show you another version of the video so for example if your internet speed becomes slow your 1080p video will automatically switch to 360p stream and it will give, start giving you the packets now coming on to packets what actually is streaming now when you are streaming through this cdn devices what is actually happening so what actually has happening is this is you you are a user and this is your oc or open connect device now the video which is there it is stored it is coming to you in the form of chunks small chunks so you have maintained a tcp connection with this and a persistent connection you are seeing a video it is coming to you in chunks so for one chunk comes second chunk comes now suddenly your internet speed drops now these chunks which were uh, initially 1080p now you will be start being shown the 360p chunks so this is how the adaptive bitrate streaming works now let's also cover what is buffering so buffering is basically the, you have this your you are seeing this on a netflix app your netflix app it can be called a client so what does a client do it has some kind of buffer so it stores these packets which are coming already in ahead so for example if you are watching at x point it will store x plus 1 minute of packets so that the you pro provide a good streaming experience now if your speed is low it is possible that it is not able to store x plus 1 
uh, amount of packets and you 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 actually have to wait for the packet to come from the cdn device and this happens when your you see the buffering on your any video or a movie which you are watching it is not very common these days with high internet speeds but this this is what generally happens so it is also possible that the complete video is already loaded in this buffer and you don't even have to rely on your internet connection that also happens a lot of time like uh, a lot of uh, try this whenever you go on a flight you are watching a movie now even when the flight starts uh, and you go into airplane mode you are still able to see some part of the movie before actually being cut off so some part of the data is already being stored in your buffer which you are able to still see now this is how streaming occurs so wh when you break this connection with the oc you are again routed back to the ec2 instance and do whatever searching and things which you want to do or home page things which you were doing we have already discussed about those in the previous videos uh yeah so this was all about streaming i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one